One quite common cause of engine flooding is when the operator mistakenly leaves the choke on for too long when they're trying to start the chainsaw. As we know, we need the choke on initially from cold, and in some cases we need to prime the carburetor. But usually, after a few pulls of the starter pull cord, the engine will fire, and at that point, the choke needs to be removed. That means that the choke butterfly, or the choke plate, that was closed, restricting air coming into the carburetor, and so allowing a fuel-to-air mix, where this mixture is rich in fuel, in order to get the chainsaw started, or fired, initially. Then, once it has fired, removing the choke means to open the choke plate and allow more air to come in through the carburetor and mix with the fuel so that the fuel-to-air mix is leaner than it was when the choke was applied. Otherwise, the more rich air-to-fuel mix caused by the choke being closed will be too much for the engine to handle after it has initially fired. Therefore, all that will continue to happen if we keep pulling the cord is we're going to keep filling the cylinder with fuel and the spark plug will get wet because the spark cannot ignite liquid fuel and it will continue to flood the engine the more we pull the starter pull cord. And eventually, we will see fuel backed up to the air filter and it's at that stage we know it's definitely flooding. But this choke plate being on for too long isn't always down to operator error. I have known it where the linkage between the choke lever and the choke itself is somehow disconnected and the choke is left on, but the operator has of course shifted the lever into the correct position and so they think that the choke is now off when it's still on. And so the same thing happens as we pull the starter pull cord. We just get an increased amount of fuel going into the engine and flooding. And another reason can be just the operator using the choke when it's not meant to be used. So what I mean by that is, when we initially come to the chainsaw and it's cold, it hasn't been used, we do need to use that choke from a cold start. But when we've used the chainsaw and the engine's warm and then we stop the chainsaw for a few minutes, but then we start it up again, we don't need to use the choke at this point. And sometimes I've known operators use the choke every time, even when the engine is warm. So in the case of this hot engine, the excess fuel will just cause the flooding.